for the underdog for the first time in many years in the state tournament. The assistant coaches are... Well, there's a reason for that. The Hermantown boys hockey team forced to make a big change for tonight's quarterfinal game against Dodge County. The Hawks were recently exposed to COVID-19 during a game. So the league rules say that anybody who was on the ice has to sit out tonight's game. Fox 9's Bab Santos joins us live from the X tonight. Babs, this was a rare opportunity for the JV team to go to state. Yeah, that's right. The varsity players watch this game at home on the couch in quarantine at their individual homes as the game went on. On with a record of 19 and the Hermantown Hawks. I honestly think there's so much momentum behind this team right now. Hermantown Hockey has made a home of the XL Energy Center. Zam Plant takes the draw and wins it here for Hermantown. Year after year in the state tournament. We expect to win. Like That's what we come down here to do, and these boys have a great winning tradition. But this year, the team is skating on slippery ice. It was a devastating day yesterday to make those conversations, especially with the seniors. The backhand scores! A player on the team Hermantown last played has COVID. So now Hermantown's entire entire varsity lineup has to quarantine. We found out at 11 yesterday afternoon that this was going to happen, so we just got on the phone and started calling kids back. In place of varsity, now 18 junior varsity players are stepping in for the biggest game of the year. And a score here by Brody Lammy. Against the state's leading goal scorer. They even called back a player who'd been spring breaking in Florida until next Monday. We found a plane that was leaving Florida that night and booked for Tickets for my family and flew home. All for one game. Oh, there it is. Town is on the board. In hopes of extending the high school careers of seven seniors. It's the state tournament. Anything can happen. Does it feel unfair at all? What's been fair in the last year? You know, I, I mean, I don't think anything about COVID has been fair. One positive is Zam Plant, Hermantown's top player and one of the best in the state. And redirected oh. score! Eligible to play as he returns after being out with an injury. Well, they've worked hard since they, since they could begin to skate to play in this game. So, uh, be nice if we could win for them. Now the game ended here at the Excel Energy Center just over an hour ago with Hermantown losing 7-2-3 in the quarterfinals. Live in St. Paul, Bev Santos, Box Nine.